वेलकम बैक टू हॉगवर्ड्स लेगेसी पार्ट सेवन सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड हर बॉलॉजी क्लास इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डू द पोस्टन क्लास एंड देन वी विल सी वॉट्स नेक्स्ट लेट्स गो Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. This place looks good. Let's start. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. <laughs> that guy looked just like me. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. All right. Uh... You must stir your cauldron in the correct direction. Okay. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right, vegan world potion. Finally, I was out of feeling potion, and uh, me home we just learned it. So the rumors of a that's rebellion. so convenient. My vegan world potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. Oh hey, I twin. wish he talked about it more. <laughs> How many Tucker? Okay. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Revelio. Fine job brewing your first Wiganweld potion. 
there are many potions yet to learn. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Frupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the sure. Frupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Frupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well prepared Revelio. Right, let's check this. I think I like this one more. Let's go with this one for now. And also for the cat, we can just uh, sell them later and come back here. stations organized and free of clutter here's the fwapa feather you wanted brilliant thank you this is going to take a moment to brew you should get back to brewing your adjurus potion and i'll tell you when this concoction's finished proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed have patience and be thorough Okay, brew with diamonds there. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Huh? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Damn! Oh. 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 What happened? What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. This guy. Akio! Okay. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Missing ingredients. Okay. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, sorry about I'm that. I'm sorry, Professor. 
I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Hmm. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Rebellion. Wait, what's this? One gold. Let's go. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Okay. So, for this, I need jewels. This, I need eggs and fur. Okay. I'm not sure where to get this. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. Oh. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Right, let's meet. Nearly headless oh, Nick. My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Oh, a sleeping class today. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Just when I think yeah. I'm finished with myself. Let's go. Two pinches of Angelica or three? What are you up to now? When my grandfather went to the school. Let's go. Over here and There is a puzzle here, I think. One incendio. Nope. Oh, okay. That looks like this. I haven't been down to bed. Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Incendio. Okay, we can do this later. Let's go.
Go fly. Nice. This place looks just like in the movies, right? Not exactly like in the movies, but yeah. Do you have a moment? Default. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. I don't know, it feels like it will cause some trouble. Uh, shouldn't you be studying, I guess? Where do you find time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Hmm. Secret passage. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Isn't this stealing? Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness, it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, <laughs> and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. <laughs> Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Okay, so we have to do this. Okay. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince yeah, a meat to help me with my that. potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. <laughs> this I need guy to get those dried just... billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Huh. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. No. Incendium. Accio. All right, let's meet Sir Nicholas. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And Wait, that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. This is the you were spotted by Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. <laughs> Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. We don't have any points. Looks like if we are winning. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. So this is the place I wanted to visit. That's the moving staircase, I think, and uh, this must be the main hall. Nope. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's go. Accio! Rebellion! This 
may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. So, someone hmm. uh, small probably favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Rotten. Off on another adventure, I'll are we? I'll go there later on. So, I was saying like someone saw us take the book and then told everyone about it. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Revelio. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. So... I cannot run, man. Ah, here we are. Okay. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house. Tickle the painting. Mm. This, this is uh, Hufflepuff's common home, right? Beef. Can I go there? Ah. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> Nope. All right. Can't catch me. <laughs> Rebellion. Understand students. What could they want? Plenty of delicious. Wait. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know, how can they make rookies have job easier? House <laughs> sleeves. Huh? It smells glorious in here. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Mm. <gasps> oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. You didn't, dear. Please help yourself. Think 
He supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gamp's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Hmm, so you cannot create food, but you can create water. Okay. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. All right. Food's gone. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. Rebellion. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Can I eat the chicken? No. So, I think all the different houses have different missing for the missing pages. Hmm. I will watch uh, videos on this mission on YouTube, I guess, for different houses. Think he keeps all us house elves in line here in the kitchen? It's all right. She's the kind-hearted sort. Okay. Let's eat cake. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless, headless activities? activities. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. One, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however, in no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. 
Just a group of fun-loving, headless ghosts. <laughs> hmm. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. Oh, what have we told you, nearly God. headless Nick? <laughs> Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. But once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> uh, sir, you yes. <laughs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. This is some map. Present map, hmm, I guess. A map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Cannot go dead. Rebellion. Where am I exactly? Okay, Hogwarts. No, not Hogwarts. So. What's this? Yeah, Hogsmeade. This we'll be place back is to play our little game ghost. of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins. It's a ghost town. <laughs> hey. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. 
It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until oh, you... Oh, what fun! A student is playing! Right. Destroy the pumpkins. Yes, it must be this big one. Nope. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. <laughs> Revelio. And then I would be the one to clean up oh. this mess. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jack Dorp? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've almost got him. Rebellion. Keep looking. What you're sure to find him. So you found us. <laughs> this ain't over yet. Never seen it played like this. How delightful! Revelio. Young man. That ghost said I should blast the wind. Here we go again. Let me say. I could do that too if I had a wand and a body. Revelio. What the? You make this look easier than it's supposed to be. Oh, what fun! A stinged is. One more. Now it's just. Well done! Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say... Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. 
a tinder cube. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains? If I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. All right, level up. All right, that was a really nice quest. It was like Halloween. Okay, I will uh, end this video here and uh, in the next video I'm thinking of doing some side quest. Uh, but that's it for now. Bye.